Nice swimming, little buddy. You're doing great. See how their eyes, ears, and nostrils are towards the top of the head? So they're out of the water when they swim. Cool. Oh, yeah. It's a nice ride. And... <laughs> oh, no. It's an anaconda. Whoa, a green anaconda. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I wish it wasn't green. Why? Green anacondas are the biggest snakes in the world. Up to nine meters long and over 200 kilograms. Come on. We got to get them out of this tangle. Oh, hey. oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Anacondas are constricting snakes. That means they squeeze their prey in a tight grip. You're not kidding. This is not working. Ooh, cool. Martin, now he gets distracted, Blockhead, even at the worst times. I didn't get distracted. I got electrified. Electric eel power. Thanks, Voltage. Right now, we can use your electric defense. High voltage force field activated. but you gotta let go of that. Almost there! Yes! Thanks, bro. We're out of here. We're cool, right? There's other prey out there, and you're obviously a good hunter. Oh, yeah. You are one impressive snake. That's enough hummingbird power for now. That was close. Good thing Voltage the Electric Eel was around. Natural electricity. That needs to be part of my invention. These organs inside the eel's body function like natural batteries. I may be able to make a bioelectric battery that mimics the eel, but digests garbage and converts it to energy. Wow, thanks for the inspiration, Voltage. And that anaconda grip? What? Great! That can be very useful on any adventure vehicle. And these snakes are amphibious, too? Sure are. They're at home moving around in the water, on land, and even in the trees. Wow, all these amphibious animals. They're giving me an idea. Thank you, creatures of the Amazon. Thanks, Blockhead. You helped me with the piranhas, and we helped you with the anaconda.